welcome to the Nexus. Today we are doing our Fast and Furious Skyline issues 31 and 32. Um, those of you that saw the last video, I've got Kev here because of my finger. Um, so Kev's going to be doing the building and I'm going to be telling him what to do. So, normal. <laughs> yeah. So let's get going. Let's get going. Okay, so there isn't a lot to do in this issue. Uh, these radiator parts, these, these parts just here and those parts there, leave in there because we'll be using them in the next issue. Yeah. Uh, we are doing, what are we doing? The... Um, uh, we're doing the injectors and the fuel lines, which are along here, uh, which is obviously connecting up the spark plugs. The first thing we're going to do, so though, is got to do the we're doing this little pipe radiator upper sleeve connection yep which is here so you get this silver little bit here i'm gonna be a typical woman and not have a and, <laughs> uh we're gonna take this part and then we're gonna stick it in here yeah like so so it's like that effectively obviously we can move this round as need be but that's what we're gonna do and then we're gonna take this part here in there and stick it in the front here just here just there like that so that sort of pokes out like that uh, as you can see we still put our radiator pipe back on uh, because I knew we'd be doing some more work down here and it's going to get in the way yeah so it's easier to keep it off I think until we we put it on until the radiator is put on All right. this is put in the car and the radiator is put on as well okay so what we're going to do next we've got some little pipes here so there's two sizes yeah, there's long this, and little ones and this bit first. what are they these are the injectors yeah and they're like a y shape so what i will do is get one out and show you exactly where they're going to sit let's zoom up i might be able to zoom up a little bit more okay so we've got these here. So this is the first injector. Very oh, yeah, and yeah, like so. So it's going to go in like that. Got to basically sit on the pipe. So as you can across. see, so it runs. They run along down it. I don't know why they've left it to this late. We could have done this at well, that point. <laughs> it's just the way it goes. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and put all the injectors in. So we're going to get down here and stick them in. We have got a. Tweezers. Our tweezers to do We're that gonna need them. and uh, so i'm going to run along and do that okay, now so they are in they're just here not very easy not, to see yeah you can see it out there you go much better you can see them all lined up that's the way they go with v-ways be very careful one you don't get any spares yeah uh, and two they do go in really easy but it's getting them there a pair of tweezers is going to be your friend 100 yeah. percent. okay so now what we've got is we've got the shorter hoses and longer hoses. So the shorter ones, we want to put into the what colour are we doing? Because the the spark plugs and the injectors. So right. with the so, so the smaller ones, so it goes closest ones. to it. The shorter ones go closest to it. Yeah. On that side and in to the red ones. To the reds because they're at the bottom. Okay, so it's all about. Just pushing that on like that. Is that right? Hang on. Yeah. Yeah. And then. And into the red. Do you know what? I think these are too long. Are they the shorter? They are the shorter ones. You might have to trim them. Yeah, I think these would be better trimmed, personally. But let's put one on and show you. Does it say anything about trimming? Right, because look at that. It doesn't. Okay. Doesn't look very it doesn't look very tidy. That I think they're too long. Yeah. I think they need to be cut a little bit. So I'm going to cut one. Oh god. <laughs> I'm going to cut one and do the next one. 
and then show you. So I'm going to cut a little bit off this. It doesn't say about cutting them, but no, it won't do. Now I'm going to stick this long, in. So. They are far too long. Okay, so we're going to take this, place it onto the injector. it would have been easier to do those bits before putting it in oh yeah for anyone that's watching the video and not got to that yet yeah it might be and worth then, giving it a try and put in a comment i reckon we could cut a bit more of that i'm gonna keep trimming it and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna move it around Get it into that red spot there. So I'm going to do this okay, a little bit of a closer look. So this is the first one. So that is the one we we haven't trimmed, did we? No. The first one, and then we subsequently trimmed the rest of them. And, and as you can see, better. it looks a whole lot better. So my advice would be trim to trim ones. them only a little bit, only about no, a mil, two mil. I mean, look, I've, I've literally just cut it. I just done it by eye. And even in the magazine, it looks like they've done that anyway because of how short they are. Yeah. Um, let's bring the magazine over. I'll just show you the magazine just here. And you can see how short they are and what they do. And ours, apart from that end one, which is far, far too long, uh, the rest of them look, better. look a lot better. Um, they do anyway. But that's what they go on. So now what we're going to do is the the longer ones from here to there. So I'm going to do okay, them. So now. we've done that. Now, like I said, the bottom injectors and pipes need to be cut. Only if you want to. Yeah, only if you want to. The top ones we haven't cut at all. They look perfect. And I'm going to zoom up to show you. So... As you can see, so the bottom ones we cut only very slightly. We did it. You don't have to do that. We've done it on our one, and the um, the the longer ones loop over like that. They're supposed to, and they do not need cutting. We didn't cut them. No. We only cut the bottom ones because of um, just how they looked. Uh, so if you do get to this point, I would say um, only a little bit off off the ends i did it by sight i didn't measure them or anything i just cut a little bit off so they're not completely all the same i would say um but it just looks a whole lot better uh that is it for this stage or this issue issue 31 so we're going to need the parts that we had left over so these parts here and we're going to get over issue what is it 30, 32. 32 which is the firewall so this sits at the back of the engine effectively um every car has that i don't know why i put the lid back on no My just keep it all safe not looking ahead <laughs> there there's that take that <laughs> uh it has got right so everything actually so we've got all the screws in here, we've got some pipe bits, keep it all in here. Because the bits that we're going to be building is from the last issue. Yeah. And we're even going to use the screws we will from the last, we will go to that one at the end, but we're even going to use the screws we've got in this one. Why they left it until that, I don't know. Maybe it's because they were planning on bringing this out uh, weekly instead of for a subscription based. I don't know. Um, because I, they love doing things like that. So we're going to grab the radiator out. Yeah. First. We need everything out. And we need everything out, do we? Right. Yeah. Let's put the engine over there because we're finished with that now. Um, so radiator is going to sit on like that. Just clicks on. Uh, do we screw anything into this? No, we just click it on. Just click it on and okay. then you click that bit on. Ah, uh, right. The fan, the fan cover. We're just going to sit on there. We're going to use the AP screws that were in that pack. Yeah. Two of them. Two of them. Okay. 
One there and one there. One there. And where the other side, yeah? Yeah. I think. Yeah, and then we've got to put the housing on the Have top. Have you got it the right way? Yeah. Yeah. You can only get it one way. Well, I was just seeing no. because... <laughs> I think it only goes on one way anyway. All right, so that goes on like that. Yeah, and uh, then that goes on the top. This goes on yeah. top or bottom? Um, I think this goes on the bottom. Well, bottom. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, which way? Um, so, right. So if, the, if the fan's facing us like this, that goes on like yeah. that because the round bit... Is that side. Is that side. Right, okay. So the round bit here needs to be facing us that way. We're going to use what? LP? Yeah. Two? Of course. Yes. So two holes for screw. Yep. So we're going to take the LP's ones. I'm going to stick that on there. Making sure it's the right way round. Just going to glue this that on there like that. That's that one. And that one in there. Then what? And then you put the black bit on the other end and then the silver bit onto that. So that's like that. Yeah, put the black bit into so that the little uh, right, bit okay, yeah, 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 the side. Yeah, okay, so it's a half moon one. So we stick the silver bit in and then the silver bit goes into here, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Like that. Yeah. Just like that. And, and then, then we open that pack. <laughs> yep. Okay, so that's our fireball. Yeah, that there. Keep them as well. Keep that. And we've got that. And we've got that. Yeah, that has to be screwed on with an AP screw. Yeah, because that's what we've got here. So where's this go? Um it goes on this end. Oh, in there. Oh, yeah, okay. That way. Yeah, it all goes on one way. It's got like a guide circle section on it. So it only goes in one way. It's got like a little notch on it. Mm. Okay. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, so um, that sits on like that. That's it. And that's it. You have to keep those aside because you need those later. Uh, yeah, make sure you don't throw them away. These are two wire hooks. They should break pipe. Yeah, mounts. they. I do believe they sit in there because there's a load of wires that, that run along that, run along here, and I think those bits go over the top to hold all the wires in, which run along here. Well, that'd be your brake pipes. There you go. Now. <laughs> Is there brake pipe mount? So obviously that will sit. Uh, like that. Mm -hmm. At some point. So the the bottom hose which we have here that will sit in there. Yeah. And then that will go. That will make it sit go. more stable. Yeah. For that pipe anyway. Yeah. Great. That's that's perfect. And uh, yes, yeah, so that's it. Uh, keep that. <laughs> yes, you've got to stop trying to throw it away. I know. I just I didn't throw it away. I'm not throwing <laughs> them away. Just putting it to the side. Um, okay, so we've done that now. So that's that. That was pretty straightforward. That one. Weren't a lot to do in those two issues. It also means it's the end of this pack. As well, so that brings the end to this pack. Stop them in there with that bit. Yep. Uh, so that brings the end to this pack. Now, obviously, if you like what you see here, go along to Fan Home. Uh, make sure you use the promo code and the link in the description so you can start your own one. Um, yeah, like I said, this this here, um, I would cut the bottom ones. Just my personal opinion, just because they sit better. Mm. Um, but the way they've got a bend and stuff, it still isn't. 100% no but it is what it is I think on that um once again I don't know how we're going to display this yet are we going to display it so you can see the engine or 
Um, I don't I'm know. I'm not sure. It depends where I put it. On how the engine is, I suppose, and when we do it. But it's looking good. Uh, there's a lot more work still to be done on the engine bay. Yeah. Um, I think uh, in the next couple of issues, we're going to be working on this and the chassis. So we'll sort of go backwards and forwards. But I do believe uh, around about the, the 50 mark or 45 mark, we actually fit the engine in. The engine's mm -hmm. fitted in. Uh, so that means like the bay's all done and stuff because there's a lot to go into the, the engine bay bit. Mm. before the engine slides in that may even be on the next issue on the next pack um but there's loads of stuff still to sort of push on this and plant on it and everything else um but that's it so as always i've been kev and i've been Kirsty. and thanks for watching and as well as normal we will see you at our next video so until then see you later bye